the letter X stands for accelerated, even though there's no X in the word accelerated. Uh, accelerated to us means that the classes are moving faster. So in science, uh, physics X and chemistry X are accelerated versions of our normal ninth grade physics class and 10th grade chemistry class. Well, one of the things that really challenged us in the secondary redesign was to figure out a way to to add rigor and challenge to each individual student so that they can really learn at the level and pace that's most appropriate for them. X classes provide a way for students to move through this required sequence, the ninth and 10th grade courses, in less time so that they can have more time than in their schedule later uh, for other electives, things that they're more interested in. Well, I've been uh, surprised and pleased to see that um, really they do a good job of um, of getting ahead, working ahead, using their book to learn. Um, we don't have time to do a lot of the, the kind of lecture things, so more in class is more about experiences. And um, the, the homework, the, where the, the reading they do at home, is where they get a lot of the, the content knowledge. So we work on problem solving, we work on experiences, and they can use a lot of their time at home to do the other stuff. Well, brain research tells us that students learn the most and the best when they're just a little bit more challenged than they can comfortably uh, progress through material. So the X classes are aimed at students who are consistently scoring in the 95th through 99th percentile on standardized reading and math classes. We use an objective process to identify uh, what the best course is for each student based on those standardized tests. Yeah, well, um, my experience in English X classes has been um, very different. I was the first class to even experience X classes, and um, going into it, I was a little worried. But I found from my friends that it was very different because we it's more rigorous. We have more um, books that we read. We have more intellectual discussions. We go deeper into the books than most regular English classes do, and um, we really like tie them all together and connect them to real world situations. And that's not what you see in most other English classes. The Walden House is where Thoreau lived. He left society to be a civil disobedient because he didn't like the way things were working. It is a house that is exactly the same size that um, Walden lived in. And we each take 10 minutes out of the class um, this week and go sit in there and just reflect and write something in our journal so it really does help us connect to the book. And um, we're really proud of that and it helps us understand the book a lot. Well, students have to work really hard in their X classes. Uh, English X students actually start with a reading list over the summer and they, they read a couple of novels and do a literary analysis project uh, before school even starts. Physics X and Chemistry X teachers uh, cover so much material. A lot of it is by uh, taking out a lot of the drill and practice in the course. So students are more responsible for having to do that practice on their own. Students have to read outside of class a lot more in X classes. Uh, and really, a lot of these are the academic and lifelong learning skills that students are going to need to be successful in high school and college and in life beyond that.